Hello and welcome to this lesson. And in this lesson, we will look into how to generate a pre-signed URL for an Amazon S3 object. This will allow anyone to receive the pre-signed URL and to retrieve the object. This is one of the topics in AWS associate level exams. So to generate a pre-signed URL, the method that I'm gonna be using is with the command line interface. This is my command line uh, terminal window. Uh, I'm on a Mac machine, but as long as you have the AWS command line interface installed, which you can check by typing in AWS, and if you get this kind of error, then you should have the command line interface installed. If you haven't installed the command line interface, I have a video on how to do it. I'll be linking that in the description. Um, if you have the command line interface, the way to do that is with the command AWS S3 pre-sign and you give the location of the object. So to do that, let me go to my S3 bucket and let me find uh, an object that I want to share with other people. So I'm here in my S3 bucket. If I click on the buckets.jpg file, click on it. It's currently private, so I can't view it with the URL. But what I'm going to do is I will note the bucket name. This is the bucket name and the name of the object. And buckets.jpg is the name of the object. So let's head back to the command line. Okay, so this is all you need to create a pre-signed URL. If I type in enter, then I get a URL. And let me just uh, quickly browse this URL on the browser. And if I type this URL in my browser and press enter, then I get to see what's in the image, I get to open the image, where I get to view the object. Now another thing that you can do is you can say, when will this link expire? If you come back to the documentation, you get to see the options which is expires in and you can specify the number of seconds that you want the URL to be valid for. The default is 3600 seconds which is one hour so if you create a pre-signed URL then the default will be one hour before it expires and let's try that and let's try that with a uh, tiny value like 30 seconds so that we can verify that the expires in is working so I'm gonna try the same command as before but this time with the expires in so go back to my command line and I press the up arrow to bring the previous command that I typed and I'm going to say dash dash expires in and I'm going to say 30 seconds. Right, so I'm going to quickly copy this, go back to my browser and I'll paste that in. Okay, I'm able to see the image And right after I pressed enter, looks like 30 seconds passed and now I'm unable to see the image anymore. Access denied request has expired. So it gives me an expiration date as well. So that's how you pre-sign a URL uh, for an Amazon S3 object and allow people uh, or anyone who receives the pre-signed URL to view the object on your S3 bucket for a certain period of time. Thank you for watching. If you like what we did with the command line interface, I have a whole course on the command line interface on Udemy. Uh, I'll be linking the um, course in the description as well. And check out my other videos if you like to learn about AWS. Thanks again. Bye bye.